With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, friends. So our question is: If final momentum is equal to initial momentum of the system, then, friends, from Newton's second law of motion, we can say that F net acting on the body is equal to rate of change of momentum that is dp by dt from here we can conclude that if f net is equal to 0 so if f net acting on body is equal to 0 so we can say that dp by dt comes out to be equal to 0 if dp by dt is equal to 0 so that is change in momentum is equal to 0 hence we can say that momentum comes out to be equal to constant that is initial momentum that is m1 v1 is equal to final momentum that is m2 into v2 so we can say that the final momentum is equals to instant initial momentum of the system this corresponds to the constant moment momentum of the body and this is only possible when the net force acting on the system is zero so option one says that no net force on the system so this is correct in option 2 it says that always net force on the system so this is wrong as if net force is acting on the system so momentum couldn't be conserved in option 3 it says that may be net force on the system so this is also wrong hence we can say that option 1 for this question is the correct one thank you friends for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today